Manun menzu mar mama ni mamar dare Fili mi o kut dar mama ni punja chitu Sit runyu ban ter id ba id ven sembu ban man den Si ci pilla fan da si de panolo e figlia mia la 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 There's a cafe up here. Oh. <laughs> Let me get you coming out of church. There's a cafe over here. You want to sit down for a second and have a drink? Do you still do the cans? Do you still do that? Do you have to put in like a pretty British I remember you used to do that for a kid. Like how did they cure it? Like what did he put on you? Or? Vinegar. All over. Um, My mother took me up on the roof in her apron. Yeah. I must have been younger too, you know. She yeah. said she stuck me in her apron. Yeah. Because my father told her what there, he wanted them to take me away. They were taking a lot of children away because we were more to help. So he says, they're not taking her away, take her off on the roof. And then when they went away, she came down and and says, put vinegar, you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It was burning, I remember oh, that. you remember that? Yeah, burning like a jumpsuit too, and then they turned black. Like, you know. mm -hmm. They were in small socks. Yeah, small were. I mean, is that what it was? Yeah, it wasn't all uh, chicken pops. It was, uh, it was going around during wartime. Yeah. Yeah, they were bad. I mean, you know, a lot of children were dying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. 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 Three there boys. were three boys? Three boys before me. That's why I probably didn't take over. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he name them all? Joe. Uh, he named every one of them Joe. Every one. They used to tell him, don't name Joe. My father says, it's going to be Joe. And did they all die in miscarriage? No. How, how did they die? Pneumonia. The t uh, first two had pneumonia. My other brother, he was seven years old already, he drowned in the river. Oh, that was your older brother too? Yeah, he drowned in the canal zone, the canal zone that we have in Brooklyn. How did that happen? But you see, in that river, only freight trains go to him. No trains, freight trains with oil and everything. They were playing ball, you know, a bunch of kids were playing ball. That's what I know, my father used to tell me. 
and uh, it says the ball fell in there, and my brother, they said my brother in. It's going to what? Papa thinks that they pushed him in. He don't believe it that he went in. Uh -huh. He wasn't the type, he said he was a tough kid. Uh -huh. He says he was too tough. He used to say in the time, he had a buck of boom, it means, you know, he was a tough kid. Uh -huh. And, uh, but the, when he went in, he didn't come up. So my mother, I was five years old, she dragged me down there, with, all the way down there where they drowned. Yeah. And she was pregnant again, my mother. And the mother, they couldn't find her. They found her the next day. The black is cold. Oh, really? And my father could never get over that. He says, I know one of them did it. He says, I know they did it. Mm -hmm. He swore all of them. Uh, and the town, he did. And it happened too. He used to say those things. Mm -hmm. well, one kid lived in Lip's house. Lip's building to uh -huh. us. And my father hated him, he swore him, he says, you would have died in an accident, uh, which you did. Right in front of the house, the cab hit him. Oh. Hit him right as the pole. Oh. He died. But ice cream, my mother survived. They used to sell the ice cream then cheap, a penny a cone. Mm -hmm. We used to go outside and eat to sit on the stoop. She had no place to play. On fire escape, we could go on the fire escape, but they were afraid of us falling out. How far we, up was the fire escape? It wasn't that far up, because we lived on the first floor. Oh, so it Anybody could climb the, the fire escape. They had a ladder coming down. Oh, to the ground? There's so you said anybody could climb up? Anybody could climb, but it wasn't all the way to the ground. It was halfway. Anybody could climb up the air. My brother fell off of there. Which one? Charlie. That's when he broke his ribs. I was flying you were flying a kite in a the kite. I used to love to fly kites. You know? Everybody was flying kites. So I was flying the kite and I didn't pay no attention to it. You know? So we used to climb the stairs while I'm not looking. We went over. Boy, did I used to scream. I screamed and crossed it over my mother. Mm -hmm. I was inside. She came out. Oh, God. I had to take it to the hospital. You had to open ribs. You had to strap them up. He was in the hospital a long time. A couple of weeks, I think. Oh, was it really? Oh yeah. my gosh. What hospital was he in? Methodist. That's where your mother was born, too. Mm -hmm. Methodist Hospital. Was that, was that in Brooklyn? Seventh Day in Brooklyn, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful hospital. Well, first he broke his ribs falling off the fire escape, and then he had that. Yeah, then his eye was. He was sitting on the stoop. I was with him when the boy threw the glass. I suppose he didn't mean to throw it at him, but he threw it. Mm -hmm. Brain, they used to live in the next house. Oh, right next door they live? Yeah, next house. Oh. What happened? His, his eye was hanging, that's what happened. When he threw the glasses, I, oh. And I just, oh, I was screaming, my mother came up, she passed out. She can't stand blood, my mother. Even now, when she was living, she didn't like, she couldn't stand blood. You know, she used to get sick. So they took him to the hospital and Papa, he was a nervous wreck, you know, coming from work and listening to all this. So then he went to the hospital and they told him that his eye has to come out because he couldn't save it. So right away my father had an official out there. And he says, I won't be like that, so he'd be having a close too. That's why he looked the way he did, he didn't look that good. And my father taught him how to put the eye in. He used to do it himself after a while. But every year he had to go to New York City and change it. Yeah. Yeah. He had a worse eye. Thank God, because they got it in time, the glass eye, put in, because it was so live in there. Yeah. Other people can't wear a glass eye for your, uh, your lids close up. Oh, really? So that's that. why nobody could tell that he had a glass eye. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Benny didn't even know he had a glass eye until he died. No. Yeah, he told me. Nobody ever told him that his dad had a glass eye. I knew he had a glass eye when we were you. kids. Well, you told us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not him. He said he didn't know. He says, Aunt Connie says, I didn't know my dad had a glass eye. Wow. I said, well, he wasn't born with it. I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> he wasn't born with yeah. it. <laughs> That's right. Well, that would be a story if he was born with it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a first. Where you lived in uh, New York, was it all Italian people in that? Uh, oh, yeah, Italian neighborhood. All, yeah. 
in them days they had different things. One was the Irish section. We were with all Italian people, blacks were in one place. Mm -hmm. It was all separate. Yeah. And what happened? Somebody tried to move in. Did anybody ever try to move in who wasn't Italian? It was all taken. The, you know, the buildings. Mm -hmm. they was it owned by Italian people? or? I don't know. I don't the remember. Landlords? But then it was Italian neighborhood. And going to school was Warner Street, that's where it's all the blacks. They used to scare us. They said, don't go over there. They used to tell us when we were kids. Your parents used to tell you? All the people. When we used to go to school, go over there. I said, we used to say, why they don't want us to go over there? You know, it was all blacks. But they never bother us. Uh -huh. You know, we had, to, we had to pass the street, but they told, go across the street, don't go on that side. Nobody ever bothered us. What street was that in? In Brooklyn, it's Warren Street. Warren I don't know Street. what it looks like now, but then it was. Mm -hmm. Spanish people, there wasn't many then. Yeah. There wasn't many. They all coming in now. Yeah. Not back then. No. They had their own. Back then, you were the Spanish people. <laughs> yeah. What was school like when you were down in the city? That's good. I like it. What school did you go to? 433. That was grade school. Was it public school? As far as eighth grade. Then I went to PS seventy seven. That was eighth grade or ninth grade. Was um were they public they were all public schools? Right? Oh yeah. Well I used to go to public school when I was a little girl. Papa took me south, me and my brother. Of course the nuns then were strict, they were old fashioned. They used to hit us when we were late. So one day I went home crying and my knuckles were all that pup said, What happened? Is it sister hit me with the ruler? Yeah, he says, let's go to school, show me which one hits. My father came up there, he says, you will hit my children. He said, I'm the father, if I want to hit him, I hit him. Because we were late, they said, my mother, you know, half five was, she, was, she couldn't dress us all in a hurry. So me and my brother was always late. You were always late, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we so that's not a good attendance record. No. We ready to go to school, this was on 4th Avenue. Brooklyn. We still live on Union Street, but not far from Fourth Avenue. So it was me and a bunch of kids, you know, we were across the street. All of a sudden, see these guns come out of the car and shoot them. Put us in. Put us in. That's true. It's a true story. And he shot this uh, other gangster right in the street. And it was all blood and everything. We couldn't cross. So me, this kid says, Oh, there's a lot of money on the ground. Let's cross the street. It was all blood and everything. We went up because we were picking up all the money. <laughs> We didn't know, we just were picking up all the money and we went to school. We had a pocket full of money, blood and everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they shot him. Oh Gangs, there was a lot of old oh, yeah. Banano. They used to live on Present Street where I live. Present Street, that, um, mm -hmm. uh, what's the other guys? The other gangsters, Gallops. The, the Gambinos. The Gambinos. All of them, they used to live on Present Street. Because I used to be some street, went all the way down to the river. Uh huh. And did you used to walk on that street sometimes? Yeah, but I mean, we never were bothered. Uh huh. They knew with who to go after. We were kids. Yeah. Papa knew all of them. Oh, did he really? Oh, that's why he was like that. <laughs> Carry gun. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. He never got mixed up with him, though, did he? No. That's why he was afraid my brother Joey might get mixed up someday. Oh, that's what he, he thought. He thought my brother Joey would be a gangster. Mm -hmm. Him and my two cousins, they were terrible. The three Joes. They were boys, they were all boys. And he was the gang leader. The yeah. three Joes. Yeah. They were no sense. The other Joe was very quiet. Yeah. So one day, when he got locked in the cell, that's when he got more stuff. I was going to tell you another story. Well, what's that? They stole bananas from the uncle. My uncle had a banana truck. And he used to sell bananas. So him and my cousin, they stole bananas, right? So the uncle came and told Papa, and he got a beat. What else? What did he get here for stealing bananas? Yeah. He was something my brother done. Another time, we always used to get lost. And the cops used to come over, you know, say your kid got lost and this and that. And my mother used to get nervous and cry all the time, so. Mm -hmm. My father says, well, the only thing I'm going to do is going to lock him up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so 
from putting down a saw. I was crying. He was saying, Clyde, get me out of here. No, he's coming to time. Just think, get me out of here. He says, there's rats down here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and my father had him tied up with a rope. Yeah. So I don't want to go down there because he hit me, too. Because <laughs> you'd be down there with him tied up. So. <laughs> What'd your mom say? My father's not mind your business. I'm the father. I'm the boss of the house. <laughs> He's a father. <laughs> He's a man of the house, all right. But he was down there only a day or two, then my father oh, did too. <laughs> my father felt sorry for him. Well, that's good. <laughs> now, why did your grandpa, why did your father like the cowboy movies? Because he was down, tell me about when he was down. He wanted to be in show business. See, him and his nephew went to California. When he was young, right? My cousin was a tango dancer. Oh, was he good? Tall, you know, him and his girlfriend, whatever, at the time. They were tango dancers. They said, they said, well, come on, Tukurao, because in the town, my father's name is Corrado. They said, come on, Tukurao, let's go to California. In them days, they used to hire everybody. So he wanted to be a cowboy, but he didn't stay. He wanted to. They took him and everything because he was a group and a guy, you know. And uh, He wanted to be in the, pic in the movies, like a cowboy yeah, in the movies? They did take him. But he didn't stay. Uh -huh. He's another one. Uh -huh. He didn't stay. So, but he was out there five years. Oh, was he really? Without my mother. They were married, but he was still out there? Yeah. Really? Where was she? In Brooklyn. Wow. She waited for him, huh? My father was a gigolo, I think. Did he fool around a little bit, you Who think? Knows? Maybe he did. Maybe you got some brothers and sisters out in <laughs> California. <laughs> I'm still alive. I don't trust my father. You can have a family reunion. Even when he was old, he wanted to go. Well, Mom, Papa used to like a woman. Saying in Brooklyn was your father's side or your mother's side? My father's side was on, in Brooklyn, but on the richer side. And that's Aunt Millie, right? Yeah. At Aunt Millie's, tell me about the music and stuff that you used to do. Oh, yeah. She had the accordion that we used to play every Sunday. She used to play the accordion. Her father, uh, she used to play the guitar. Her father, Cordine, and her brother. What did he play, the brother? Cordine. He used to play another one? Yeah. So they had two of them? Yeah. They had a big one and a small one. Big one? So that the kids could handle it. Oh, really? It was nice. Uh-huh. Nice music. I love it. What kind of music was it? Huh? Italian music, naturally. Uh-huh. And did she, who used to sing? We all used to sing. Ten songs at the oh, yeah? time. You yeah. knew them all? Did your father used to sing too? It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Those days of fun. So they used to dance too? Yeah, Ferrandel. They used to tear uh, Italian walls. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. I used to dance with Pop. <laughs> I'm Mazuka, he used to like my father. What's it called? A Mazuka? A Mazuka. Used to drink wine those days, or who? Oh. They used to have wine. Oh yeah, table with wine and all kinds of cocots, tiny cocots, prosciutto, provolone. They they were great for that. Salami, but not sliced up. All in the rolls, you know. They used to buy it. Yeah. In Staten Island, my uncle we used to go there a lot because that's where we lived one year. We lived in Staten Island. Oh really? I didn't know. Yeah, one year we lived there. Because mm -hmm. Papa was looking for work, and my aunt had a house. So we moved to her house. I moved in there, I remember. Beautiful house. And they all had grapevines out there. But in Brooklyn, yeah, people used to make their own wine. Papa used to buy it, yeah. Did Red he, wine or white wine. Did he make any or not? Yeah, he used to go down the cell. Yeah, he used to help them. But those cells are good for wine and all that stuff. You ever see him make it? Nothing to store. Did he ever bring you down to see with the, how they made it? Yeah. Like how they do it? With their feet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Would they have like a barrel? What would they do? Like in a barrel? Or? It was like a tub. A tub? A wooden tub. Yeah. They used to stamp it, you know, and then they used to use these big things up and down. Uh-huh. Mm. That's neat. They had some wine, boy. Yeah, I can imagine. And then the, in the weekend, they used to play cards. My father used to buy 
big, a big salami, you know, the, raw, the big one, you know, not slices. The, oh, yeah, like uh, those ones. Italian Puvalun, they were great for that. Puvalun and uh, the salami and cheese, some other cheese too. Oh, prosciutto. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't really like whiskey, didn't you? Oh, muscata. Oh, that was later on. Later on. Muscata, muscata. They used to go to, oh, I'm just going to tell her one. Yeah. It was good. He used to tell me, drink, it's good for your blood. Good drink. When you were a kid, he used to let you drink? Well, he used to put it on the table mm -hmm. after we eat. Yeah. But I never drank. My... Your brothers drank? No, not too much. My brother Charlie all the time. <laughs> My sister used to like to drink the wine. Oh, yeah. That's kids, you know. My brother one time, uh, I don't know where we were, but he was a little kid. Yeah. He, so he drank the whole bottle of wine. <gasps> so my father found him in the corner, he was drunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was a kid. He was a little kid. He, was drunk. <laughs> he drank the wine. You always have food on the table. Well, you told me that you didn't, a lot of times you didn't have much choice about no. what you eat. We had more macaroni than anything else every day. That's when we won high pot macaroni every day. Oh, well, see, that's later on. When yeah. You tried to, when you tried to cauliflower. Do that. No, I like cauliflower today. <laughs> no, we, we ate it, we here. That seems like that was the toughest time when you were on that farm. Yeah, depression. It was depression time. That's when we came here. Yeah. I wish I remember mm -hmm. that. Well, the question started in Brooklyn. Yeah, really? How did you know when it started? Of course, nobody had food. Yeah. Oh, I knew when it started, yeah. But they used to send me around to go and get here and there. I had to go and tell my aunt if I had even a pound of macaroni. Which aunt was that? All of them. They all you, have to, you have to ask them for, if they had a pound? Yeah. Oh, to borrow? Yeah. Oh, oh, so you'd have to go begging, really. The only one that gave to was my godmother. <gasps> That's the only the, one, huh? She's the one that had the money. The rest of them didn't have it. They'd give it to you. They had it, you know. They the money themselves. Yeah. Well, she gave to us. That's why I liked her a lot. I used to do a lot for her after a while. When she got older, yeah? Yeah, when I got married, I used to bring food over there and everything. Oh, that's good, because you always remembered how she gave it to you. Oh, yeah. When he came to Creek Road, my father bought that property up there. Him and two other guys, and they lost everything. How'd that, what was that all that? Cauliflower. How long did, were they on the farm there? How long we lived up yeah, there? Yeah, East we, Park? Yeah. Creek Road, we used to live. You're on Creek Road. Now it's different, though. Yes. Yeah. And then it was all the woods and country. Oh, I used to cry every day. Really? You I didn't, didn't like, like it? it? No. Only one country store they had. One country store? <laughs> I was used to the city, you know. I was 15, so. And, um. What did you have to do with it? They planted cauliflower here. Yeah. But I couldn't even go downstairs or anything because there was fellas working on the farm. Yeah. My father was very jealous. He didn't want no guy to look at me. Mm hmm. One day I was looking at the window, he shut the window on my head. <laughs> he shut it right down on my neck. Oh. My mother said, why do you have to do that? My neighbor said, boom. I said, Pa, I'm only looking inside. This is out the window in the country. I couldn't do nothing. Did you help with the chores on the farm? No, it didn't even make me do that. No way. You didn't do anything like that? Me and my mother? Well, it's also, you know, my mother, we couldn't do nothing. My mother never wanted to work. In the house, I had a knit and hats with her. Sit down. I'm going to help with mother. Did you guys have any pets when you were kids? Like dogs we used to have? Oh, we had a dog. Did you have a dog? Oh, yeah. Got killed after in Hyde Park. After a while, my brother Angel was crying. He's the one they skip a walk. Oh, yeah. He had a white, uh, white uh, Persian cat. Mm -hmm. And he had a white mice. He's keeping in the cage. You know the pet? Yeah, and else. He used to love animals. No. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of a dog was it? I don't know. We used to call him Candelier. <laughs> they named him Candelier. What does that mean? <laughs> In Italian. Do you know what it means? No, Candelier. Proper name. Candelier, Candelier, when he used to go away. <laughs> 
Then it doesn't exactly to, roll off the tongue. Like then he got killed with a car. My brothers were crying. Oh my God, they carrying him. Oh They buried him in the oh. army. So why they lose the uh, farm? Why what happened at the time? It was a bad season. It wasn't raining. It was a hot season, very hot. Mm -hmm. And they lost it. Everything got bare. It was a cold flow. That's all we lived on. See, this was a store. He used to take the kids there all the time. Oh, now really? it's a tailor, tailor shop for their mayo. His uh, what's her name's house? Carlson. So tell me again about this story. Kakamo. We were very good friends with them. You know Wes from the a ball player? Mm-hmm. He just died. He yeah. was married to one of the daughters. Oh. He passed away now. They're not there no more. They must, they sold the house. And it was, a, was it Italian grocery? Oh, yeah. She had everything, too. Imported. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, well, my father used to go there all the time. They were in Barone's used to go. Hmm. There used to be Barone's store. Yeah. Where the, from Donald was. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What did that have? Everything. Two grocery stores they bought. And then he, he, he was a real estate man. He's the one that wanted to send me to the school. Paid for and everything, nursing school. Oh, for nursing school? My the father didn't want to. He said, only the bums go. Now, what about up here? What was up here? Remember the barbershop? That's the yeah, one? Yeah, right here. <laughs> that, that used to be the barbershop, right here. Mm -hmm. That was the barbershop. This, this was Gasparra Bakery in the back. They still keep the name. Sick, Miss mm -hmm. Farrell. Here's the beer garden. Here's the beer. Here's Dario, but he's, she still keeps the name out to Mexican people. That's where Anthony's from upstairs. Yeah, I remember his apartment there. There used to be old houses here. Mm -hmm. Where's the Polish club right there still? That's when I first met my husband. He this house where we used to be, that the Deanna name was, they, they, they knocked down the houses. Hmm. Is that where you went to the dance? That your dad got mad at you for going out to that dance or something at the Polish Oh, the club? Pol yeah, we passed it. Mm -hmm. The Polish club was right in the middle of the block. It's still there. Mm -hmm. the Polish people. We lived over there and my father came over there with a strap. <laughs> <laughs> you out too late or you they didn't just mad that you were out I was all? supposed to be home. Uh, on my time was 11 o'clock to be in the house. Uh -huh. And it was 11.01? I don't know. <laughs> Who remembers? One time I went to a Polish club, I used to love to go there, dance every weekend, you know, after work. And I used to go my girlfriends. So one day this Polish guy, he used to wait for me because me and him was very good in Polish dancing. And uh, Was it polkas? Like the polkas they did? Yeah. Over here. That's pretty good. Yeah. Right there. It's still there. Yeah, it's the Polish club, yeah. And so one, one boy came over to me and said, hey, Connie, your father's outside with a strap. He says, you better not, don't let him see you. So you know he came inside to see if I was there, but I wasn't. The, the kids, the, they you. <laughs> the boys and all them, you know, they so he would have swung that strap. You don't care who's there. He said, no, she's not here. Oh, don't you think he waited home to, to, until I came home? He swung that strap, boy. As much as he, got, he cared for me and everything, he used to hit me, teach me lessons. I don't know what kind of lessons, but anyway, <laughs> I, ne I never did anything. It was very strict. Yeah. But you know, I appreciate, I, I thank him for that. That he well, brought yeah. me up like that. It turned out well. I thank him for that. That he was strict and... and you didn't thing. get in any trouble. No, he taught us all a good lesson, I think. Yeah. So We had to be home when he came from work. We couldn't be outside. As soon as he's come, one of us, you see, Papa's coming, Papa's coming. We used to run up the stairs, wash ourselves, and sit at the table. And we had to say our prayers before we ate. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
Mm -hmm. We had to be at the table. We couldn't eat without him. Mm -hmm. Sit at the table. Mm -hmm. Come here, buddy. Yeah. We had a reality of Main Street Poppy's School every Saturday to watch the Cowboys of Main Street. That was a reality. Mm -hmm. no. Ten cents you get in. <laughs> Rialto. We wanted me and my brother used to hide behind the portal because we wanted to go with Papa too on Saturday. Uh -huh. They used to chase us. Go home, go home. We said, No, no, we want to come. We used to make me cry. And they said, All right, come on. And they used to take us. <laughs> well, what about you? You never really had any wild times when you were young, did you? Yeah, well, when you went to I dancing? Girlfriend. Yeah, I would do this every weekend. Did you drink? Yes. Some parts I like. That's about my own drink. Of Main Street used to be the pimpiest uh, place to go dancing, uh, and uh, they had the pimpiest, they had the... Uh, what kind of music? What kind of band? Did they have live bands? Yeah, Swing they had bands. bands or? Yeah, they used to dance. Yeah, they had rock and roll and everything. Not rock and roll, one. No. You, you were a little too young before you... When? Rock and roll was a little after your time. Well, I was going on 18. Okay, that was 1934. Alright? Not exactly the Beatles, yeah, the Stones, and like Elvis. Music. Swing music, right? Yeah, it is. Like Benny Goodman? Did that ring a bell? Glenn Miller. <laughs> Glenn Miller? <laughs> I like him. Yeah. I used to like all I used to love music. Yeah. Still do. Yeah. My brother Joey was good. He used to sing pretty good. My brother Joey. Was he? Oh boy, yeah. What he used to do? Singing. He loved that. Really? He went over here, he went on the stage just to make a hundred dollars. He went. Did he really? <laughs> what he what he sing? He was singing. I thought he was singing. But he did and he was dancing too. He went on the stage. He was a good dancer. It was only me and him. We used to go out. What place was that where he sang? Here, then used to be the Maj the Stratford, uh, Majestic on uh, Main Street. It was like a theater? Yeah, it was a show theater. Oh, it was nice. And then they had the Stratford on Liberty Street. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. They took him to look him down. The Liberty Street, the Liberty movie was right there on Liberty Street. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the names of any of the bands that played live in the area? Yeah, they used to have LaFalce Brothers. The LaFalce Brothers? Oh, that, they played at my wedding, too. Uh -huh. They sat them a lot because they were well known then, you know. Yep. Some of them are living yet, so mm -hmm. Your father didn't like you going out too much, did he? I had to be home a certain time, at 11 o'clock in the house. If I was there, bang, 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 the strap was ready. You know, I can't find that strap. I don't know what happened to it. You mean it was still around? You still had yeah, it somewhere? Yeah, I to give it to you. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I would. I would love to have the strap in my family collection. I don't know if collection. it's in the closet or the tool I may need the strap in a few years. Who knows? <laughs> I have a young child and no, I'm behaving. Not a, not I got the strap. Yeah, for us, boy. This is swinging. My brother Joey's the one that got the most. You know, my father never hit him. He never got hit on my father. All of us used to get, but only him. Maybe because he, you know, of course. Sorry, well, he lost his eye, he broke his ribs. My father was sorry for him. <laughs> but everybody got a beat. <laughs> well, Angel never got much either. It was me and my brother, we used to get it all the time. Why did your mother, um... I used to say, she couldn't handle my... Papa used to do everything. Um, as soon as he comes in from work, you know what she do? You know what she did? You know what he did? You know? To tell on you all, huh? Well, what was she supposed to do? If you were misbehaving, Gorky. And we get it. Sometimes I just hate her for <laughs> You had a troubled relationship with your mother sometimes. Yeah, she hit me on the head. Yeah. <laughs> just lose 50 cents. I lost 50 cents going to the store. You know, I, was, I, was, I, st I, I didn't know I had the 50 cents with me. I don't know where the hell I had it, but anyway. I was jumping rope. You know, I stopped and jumped rope instead of going to the store right away. Mm -hmm. With the kids, you know, mm -hmm. open. So I lost 50 cents and I couldn't bring the milk home. And the milk was too yeah. obtain the milk for about 50 cents. Oh, uh, it wasn't, I don't know, I don't know. She took the strap, but you know, in the strap there was a buckle. There's yeah. a buckle. There's still lights up there. 
I got a big scar there. Yeah. And it was bleeding, the blood was coming down. He thinks she took care of me, she was afraid of blood. So she gives me a basin, a basin. Blood is dripping down like anything in the basin. So my father found it like that, he got mad. Boy, he didn't love my mother. She didn't do nothing, they didn't take care of me or anything. You know, that's the place that hurts me. Have you ever forgiven her for that? No, oh, this is so. Uh, no, I'm really hard for that. Why did she never learn, uh, she never learned uh, too much English? Huh? I have to tell the truth, I love my father more. <laughs> You're always honest, I appreciate your honesty. That's right, I'll tell the truth. So tell me about your first job, like that you got. Over here. Where about? Whitman's. That was the first girl in the place, me, me and Betty, well, she's gone now. Ever since home. And uh, we went there the first day when it opened up. They told us the place was opened up. There was no girls in there. Oh, it was just opening up. It was new. All men were playing it, uh, playing in there. I mean, working in there. Well, we went. Uh, we you no. Know, we told them that. I, I was working in the pearl factory first. That's right, pearl factory. What did you do there? Working on the machine, seven dollars a week. My father used to give me a dollar out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I says, so the girl says to me, hey, Kai, let's go over there with them so get more money. They just opened up. So I told the boss over here, my mother was sick, that's why I got out, you know, to make me go home. Uh -huh. So I went, we went to Whitman's. Don't you think that guy hired us the same day we were there? He says, no, he says, I only want you. I said, oh, no. I said, either my girlfriend or I would have wanted the job. You only wanted me, that son of a gun. I said, no. I said, either she works or I don't. Did he ever try and get fresh with you? <laughs> Didn't you say something about well, somebody? They, they say, they can see yeah, they get enough fresh, but I mean, you know, they pass some remarks like, oh, mm -hmm. that was good to say to I'm sure you were. <laughs> if I have to say so. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so what did the Whitman's factory make? What kind of? Books. What, what kind we of were the first, the first ones to make the Ellen's uh, Contrapolis. What was that now? The Canadian? Yeah, those Canadian kids. Yeah, Catopolis. We were the first ones to make them. To make the book about it. Yeah, I brought a lot of them home. How did you meet your husband? In a party. Oh, so you didn't meet him at the factory or anything like that? No, over here. See, this my girlfriend. She was a friend, a good friend of ours. She lived on Bridge Street here. They had a house there, mm -hmm. right on the corner there, right on the corner. No more now. She's yes. She passed away two two years ago. I think she did. And. Um, she says, Connie, you want to come over for a uh, New Year's party? I think it was Christmas. Christmas. I said, well, I'm not allowed to go out Christmas. My father don't allow us. I said, oh, come on, tell me a party. She says, my father is coming up from New York. She said, I want you to meet him. A cousin of hers or her brother? Or cousin? No, it was a kumbara. It was, was a godfather to her kid. And that's how I met him. But I didn't take it serious or anything when he came up. You know, he shake hands with me and everything. <laughs> but uh, I don't know take him serious, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I was funny. And, uh, but then after a while, the, uh, her name was Diane, she says, you know, he likes you, Connie. So I said, well, what could I say? <laughs> you work at a shoe factory then? Oh, always did. He started in Kentucky. See, some Irish family raised him. And that's how he got the job. To the what, was he an orphan? Or? Yeah, he was an orphan. Really? Yeah. So. And they chose him like in an orphan from an orphan. They no, took no, him from no, an no. orphanage. No, he got acquainted with the son. He happened to. Uh, uh, he went on a freight train out there, whatever it was. Him and this kid, they got acquainted, and they got to be good buddies. And he was Irish, the kid, you know. So him and my husband got to be good buddies. So he took my husband home where he lives. So they, they liked him. He lived with them. Yeah. And that's why he worked in the shoe factory there. Didn't you say that he liked horses, though, out there? Oh, or? yeah. What did he do? He was a jockey. Did he? But he, uh, uh, this one horse he had was kind of rough, you know. So he fell off, and then he didn't want to go on no more. Uh, he would have been a good jockey because he was tiny. Yeah. At the time, you know. <laughs> yeah, he was small. Well, that's what they want, small jockeys. And uh, he didn't want to do it no more. Yeah. That's why he was crazy for horses. He used to like to go to the horse track. Oh boy, I'll say. He used to make me pick them out a lot of times. Did he win? One was time he, lucky? he got me mad in Belmont. 
He wins $5,000. I says, come on, honey, let's go home. He won $5,000? Yeah, let's go home. He says, no. He says, you got better You could have bought a house. You know? He didn't want to go home. He betted. <gasps> and he lost. Oh, my gosh. He lost $5,000? He didn't care. Well, you cared. I bet you slept on the couch that night. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He used to win all the time. Yeah. Even when he passed away, he had a, a, his wallet full of money. Yeah. Oh. I had to take it. I needed it for the funeral. <laughs> when you got married, uh... Me and him did everything. Me and my husband. Yeah. Papa bought all the drinks and, you know, yeah. the cake, cakes of beer. Oh, my God, all the cakes he bought. Where did you get married? Up here or down there? No, here. Mount okay. Carmel. Oh, you got married at Mount Carmel? Oh, yeah. Then we had the, uh, the dance at the... Uh, cafeteria there, you know, mm -hmm. downstairs, church hall. And so what kind of stuff did he have for the wedding? Oh, we had everything. Oh, boy, all the people were bragging about it. He invited the whole Milk Street. Oh, yeah? At the time, you know, all the Italian people yes. were down here. Yeah. They all came. They loved it. Oh, God, we had everything. Uh -huh. I had six trays of uh, cookies, Italian cookies. Yeah. Convettis and everything. Yeah. Six trays. I made them all because I was working, he was working. We were doing all that. Right. Papa bought all the more wine and the Beer yeah. and everything. No, everybody's drink beer. Yeah. Well, we had we had a nice we had a good wedding. And where'd you go for your honeymoon? Washington D.C. Oh yeah. How long were you there? A week. And what'd you see? Well, I was looking around. House, you know. Did you see the White House? Did yeah, we seen oh, that did you? all around. Yeah. Then we went to the hotel in New York, and I got sick. Why? So we had to come home. Why'd you get My, sick? Oh, I just got sick, that's all. Huh. My cousins fixed up the home for me in the, that I lived in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Not the house where your mother was born. We used to live in another apartment house. Mm -hmm. He fixed it up beautiful for me, you know. Oh. Put up the curtain, they fixed the furniture and all that. Mm -hmm. So we stayed there for a while. They love that Oh, yeah? Yeah, they gave them rice. <laughs> Did you <laughs> Mm hmm Well, they're up there waiting for it, it looks like. You know why? When you feed the pigeons, they don't make a lot of noise. Oh, mm -hmm. Hmm. They eat it all. <laughs> they do, really. <laughs> yeah, I saw them. They, they I can not believe what the squirrel eats these raviolis. <laughs> what, honey? What? What do you want me to do? Uh, do. What do you want me to do? Uh, do. Well, looks like they're enjoying your spaghetti. Oh, they love it. <laughs> See, they, go up, they go away. They know when I come. Yeah. See? They fly away. <laughs> Did you take them before? Yeah, I got them now. I thought they, they knew you. Huh? They fly away. They don't go very far though, do they? Well, they when just go I right come that down, roof. they wait for me to go and put the food over there and they all come down. <laughs> they do. And then they sit See, up there and they wait. They are dirty birds, though, Gwonky. That's all. She has to take it. See, they all come down, look at them. Yeah. The other day I had to drop a pound of macaroni from in the sink. You sure you didn't know. do it on purpose? No, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, right. So I says, well, I'm not wasting it. Just another excuse to give it to the birds. I don't want to hear me. I gave it all to the birds. Goodbye. Somebody's going to eat. So it's just fire. Yeah. It's just fire. <laughs> you have him taping the Come birds. Come enjoy the pigeons. They like spaghetti? Oh, yeah. my God. Oh my also, they like it's anything. Do they get something birds. for their nest? Rice. Or are they gonna it's like warms to them. Yeah. A delicacy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they eat it. Here comes back one. Do you put sauce on it for them? <laughs> yeah. Look at them. Oh, they look nice with this one. I don't want to them. Can I see this? Uh, that's Kujatina and... Uh, oh, look at that. Are these pictures of people in your family? Yeah, it's my father's niece. His brother's the one. Sister, one of them. His brother or sister, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's his niece. Yeah. 
And it's funny how they had these things that are, um, they're postcards, but you could make your, you could get a, probably get a picture. Send from Italy, that came from Italy. From Italy and send a postcard, you know, to pick the family picture on it. Isn't that a neat thing? Yeah, that's neat. It is his brother's daughters. That's his brother's daughters? Cugatina and Angelina. Could you look any more Italian than that? <laughs> I don't know. They are very Italian looking people. Yeah, don't they? <laughs> they are old school. This is his brother. That's his brother? My father's Your brother. Fa oh, it must be his older brother, See, one of his older brothers. Fratella. What does that mean? That he's sending the picture of him and his daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. What's his name? Let's see what's his name. Oh boy, these are his name Amazing was in the photos. back. Yeah, his name was in the back. So that's uh, her father's brother. He had, he had more than one brother, right? Older brothers. Yeah. I need somebody who can translate these things that's because you don't know your Italian very well anymore. I don't know. Not that Italian. Not that you ever knew it that well. Not that Italian. Oh my gosh, the military people. Yeah. The this says, is like, um, he's in somewhere in the... In this the, is your brother. He's in the, somewhere in the Middle East. He's got this... Uh, he looks like Lawrence of Arabia. Are you sure it's a nephew? This looks kind of older. It looks like it might be. Uh, yeah, well, it says uh, That means my father's his uncle. Yeah, this is my uncle. New York said that's his, on my father's side. The, the one you used to go visit? Yeah. He was nice. He used to go visit him. <laughs> Look at this guy. No. <laughs> I don't know if you can see? Really see that. Tu fratello Sebastiano. And that's another one. Hmm. Was this man a, in theater? He looks very theatrical in his <laughs> aspects. <laughs> God, all these things, I didn't even know my father had them. I know he used to talk about them, but it's all in the family. Funny days when the women were as big as the men. Be <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I never met anybody, so I don't know. Look at this. These are great pictures, though. Look at the shoes. There. Some wonderful <laughs> photographs. Look at this. Yeah. She's influenced by Ruby Keeler, it looks like. Look at the shoes over here. And it's uh, on her side. And now here it's spelled F E R R A R O. Ferraro. We always used to spell it and F E R R A R A. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that, that seemed to be the operative <laughs> yeah. spelling. <laughs> whatever. Fascista <laughs> del Sicilian. What is this? Let me see. <gasps> Fascism? This is fascio! <laughs> Fascism of Sicilani! Oh, great! So we had fascists in the family? I may be reading this totally wrong. This is when Papa got married. We got married in LA, a piece of Brooklyn. My mother got married. 1908, he was married. They got married in the city, yeah, in Brooklyn. Died June 1, 1957. Pauli Vicenza. Hmm. She didn't die in June. Died June 1, 1957, according to this. And this was she paid died in on full. my brother's birthday. Paid in full, June 15, 1957. Maybe that's Well, there goes that idea. Maybe. You know, these family ideas build up maybe about we, what happened, and it's usually paid. not true. Maybe we paid that things that time. But she died on my brother's birthday, June 29th. May 29th. I mean. Oh, May 29th. Well, that yeah. could well be the mm -hmm. case. June 1st is when they reported it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? And there was some mix up there. Or maybe she did die on June 1st, but it was just so close to his birthday that. Yeah. You know, that How about became the story. Well, yeah, when I after I scan these, I'll have oh, this her is come back. I'll come back down and have sister. her. This is the sister. He used to love Antonina. The names again, like she did. So if you have photos. a girl named or Antonina, I think he loved he loved the sister more. Because she used to tell me that's where she lived in the Pacino. The girl in there, I know she's the woman. She's got a family. What's this? Hmm. Oh, that's when he used to send money to Italy. Mr. Corona used to have a bank down here. Mm -hmm. 
That's one of the old things. Bottle Garoni. 1937. Hmm. Yeah, that was here though. So he sent money too? Papi he sent it to really? family. Really? To family? Yeah. He sent uh, 3,000 lira or $170. That's a lot of money for mm -hmm. the time. He's a lot of... $170? Where do you get that kind of money? Well, he worked. He was a construction worker. Yeah, but... You sure he didn't do something on the side? No. You sure he didn't put a few other things in cement besides uh, girders and steel? <laughs> no. Your brothers, did they go in the army immediately? The whole three of them. As soon as the war started? Yeah. That's when my mother got sick. She broke down terrible, especially when they took my brother Angelo. Because he he's the, the youngest. youngest. Yeah. Oh, they drafted him? Yeah, they were drafted. But when they took my brother Charlie, that's when my father went crazy. He went up there and he had a fight with them. Oh, really? He fought with the Red Cross and everything. He said, how could you take him? When he, said, he said, he may have one eye, but he's got a 100% in the other eye. <laughs> so they took him? Yeah. Where did your, uh, where did they go? Like, where did they fight? My brother was, uh, my brother Angel was right there in uh, Germany and everything, yeah. Was he really? Oh, yeah, he went to France, he went all over. My brother Joey, uh, when, uh, oh, I forgot now where he started off. First they went to Fort Bragg, which everybody goes. Uh -huh. And then he was, see, he, I don't know where he went, but he got hurt. He was on the jeep, what the hell, he the jeeps, what do you call them, the jeeps? Yeah. He was on one of those jeeps and he fell off or something, in the height. Oh, and, really? And he broke his hip here. That's why he was, he used to limp on one leg. His oh. leg was shorter than the other one. Oh. That's why he was on disability. The other one got hit in his coolie. Who's, oh, Uncle Angela? Charlie. Oh, Uncle Charlie did? How did he, did he was fighting? He, yeah, they, they had, they had him were, fighting? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And then he went to, um, they shipped him to, uh... How did he get hit in his coolie, though? I mean, did he get <laughs> shot? He didn't get shot, did he? Or did he? He got shot, really? I used to send them food, everything. I used to send them cookies, bread, whiskey. I used to put it in the bread. You know, make a, uh, take all the, uh, the dough out, you know, the white, what we see, and put it in there, and they used to get it. Well, but Angelo more than the boys. He's like the whiskey with his friends. Angelo, huh? He you too. wouldn't think Angelo would be the one no, drinking whiskey. No, he's not a drinker. No, not at all. He was. Well, really army, you know. Mm -hmm. That'll drive you to drink. And they said all the cookies, and uh, I used to send them bottles of whiskey. I used to stick it in the bread, take all the dough out, and put the bottles in the bread. And they got it, huh? Yeah. That's and they said, my brother says, we got ten bottles now. He says, we're going to have a picnic for Christmas. <laughs> So they had a good time. That's good. My cousins, I used to send them stuff. You used to send your cousins stuff. All too. of them, all of them. Huh. I thought of all of them. Did they all live? Did they all survive? Or did anybody yeah, die? Yeah, they, they all came home. They all came home, that's good. No, that's right, but they came home. Oh, yeah. You said your one cousin, didn't he have problems? My cousin that? Joe. He was in the Marines. One of the three Joes, right? Yeah, he was in the Marines. They were the first guys coming home. Yeah. From the Marines, you know the ones I pull up to Fred. Yeah, he was one of them. Oh, he he went to Iwo Jima, did he? Yeah. Did my he other, my cousin Joe, the other one. They always was told one. My brother Joe, he was in Italy and all the places there. Uh -huh. He was right in the midst of the uh, war, and I, he came home and told a story. Oh, I never forget. He said this one guy came up to him. He was against the Americans, you know. <clears throat> the Italian, says, right? An Italian guy? Yeah, yeah. he was going to show my uh, cousin. My cousin says, either you or me. He says, no, he says, I'm your cousin. He says, I'm your friend, I'm your cousin, because he was a cousin. <laughs> he said, no, my cousin, you're not going to kill me. And he was shoot him? Yeah, they, well, he wanted to shoot him. And then he used to work. Tell me how he used to work in the, uh, in the shipyard? Or? Yeah, in the Navy yard. 
what were you doing that night? You were building? B-29 parts, airplane. For airplane parts. Airplane, yeah. B-29. Inspection. What machines did you use to? And the machines come down on them. Was First, it hard work? Many times I cried. First you have to put them in the heater. I had to work in the heating room first, you know, it hot. Not bad. That's where I, I cried a couple of times. I used to put them in there, heat them up, and then carry the whole tray upstairs. All right. Oh, yeah, he brought me everything, sugar, coffee. I never was without anything. That's I don't know true. where you used to get it. Where you used to get it from, huh? We used to come from Poughkeepsie, so I don't know. Yeah. I must have knew somebody. Yeah. And, yeah, we, uh, we had everything, though. That's good. Even during the rationing and all that? Well, I had to wait online for rationing. Oh, really? Like, in you Brooklyn. What would you have to wait online for? Suds and different things like that. Cigarettes, he always had cigarettes in my home. I used to go to all the stores and get them. Oh, really? Because then he was a smoker. Then he cut down. So they said, oh, the war is over, you know? So we all got big things, sticks, and we were banging around the pipes, you know, these yeah. outside. Yeah. Poles, the poles were made of, you know, yeah. you could hear the click, like a bell. Yeah. Everybody was so happy. Uh -huh. That's when I was working in the Navy, I, one guy grabbed me. Oh, he threw me up in the air, and the war was over, you know? So, oh, they all ran outside. I couldn't even walk the streets. They used to grab me, kiss me. You know, because they were so happy with the war. The war ended. I'm sure, they were happy because they could kiss a beautiful young girl. The Brooklyn pretty... Navy Yard. Oh, God. I was young, I was 24 years old. Did you make your own clothes or did you buy them? No, that's what everybody said to You make her clothes? No. I said, I starch them. That's why she used to have, you know, these dresses. <laughs> Look like a doll. Yeah. No, I used to waste a lot of time on her clothes. Starch them, wash. Wash them, starch them, go up in the roof and hang them up. Oh, that's that's where we had to hang our clothes. Uh -huh. you in know, the, the apartment apartments. where you had her? Like they yeah, didn't yeah. have kids? but She was the only one at the time. We had to go up in the uh, roof and have clothes. Everybody had their own line. Yeah. You know, you could walk on the roof. Yeah. Because we used to go up there a lot. My husband and I and her, we used to bring her up there in the bassinet. Uh -huh. We used to sit down and have, you know, a snack or something. Yeah. So a lot of them used to stop me because, you know, there was all the rich people around the neighborhood and around the corner, you know, millionaires, you might as well say. But they used to like us. And they used to say, do you, you make you buy clothes? We have a clothes made up. I see it in my hands. <laughs> Stupid rich people. So lazy. But then I, at four years old, I started in dancing. I was busy, you know. And from work, I used to take her. How'd you get the idea to do that? Why did you start her with that stuff? I don't know. I like dancing for me. You know, we used to pass the studio on Fulton Street, my husband and I, we used to eat in, in uh, Howard Johnson. They had the new ones, you know, on Cross Street. So we used to watch the kids dancing. So my husband says, we ought to take her there, dancing sometimes. So I don't know, you think she'd like it? What, uh, what school was, what was the name of the school where you took your daughter? Minerva. And where was that? Was that in Brooklyn? Oh, yeah, on Fulton Street. On Fulton Street? Yeah. From the city hall. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was pretty far down. Yeah. Well, the bus used to take us. Uh -huh. And how did she? Um, how did you get her onto that TV show? Oh, the teacher took her for the Oh, really? The teacher took her. Yeah. That's how they made her. Mm -hmm. She took her. This is my nerve. So, uh, what did you do when you find out that she was going to be on the TV show? Oh, we were so happy, me and my husband. We used to go every Sunday. They used to serve us coffee, you know, whatever you want, coffee and donuts and everything. It was nice. In the RCA building, you know, you know where that is. That's a big building where all the actors go. Yeah. Well, she could have been so, but she didn't want it. So, what, um, so when you went on Sunday, uh, did, they, did you sit in the audience and watch them? Oh, yeah. My father and my mother used to watch us on Sunday. Because uh -huh. I used to call them up, I used to tell them to watch us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the audience, yeah. Every Sunday we had to be there. How'd your husband feel about? Oh, he loved it. He liked going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was proud of his daughter. 
You should have had a kid who really wanted to be a star. Yeah. That's what you needed. Yeah, so don't look at me. me. Yeah, you got Prima. She shies away from the home video camera, much less anything else. My God. <laughs> you were a little girl. You never got a chance to do any of that. No. Parents couldn't really afford to send you to any place like that, right? No, we used to dance home. You would have liked it. You told me you used to have that, um, did you used to have like one of those old phonograph things? We had until we came here. But Papa left everything. He had a <laughs> piano too. You had a piano? Yeah, he bought it for me. Did he really? Oh, but you said a player, wasn't it a player piano? By the feet. Oh, where <laughs> you make it go? Yeah. Still though, that phone's to cost some money. Yeah, he left it. Gigi? Now this is a pretty classic recipe of yours. How do you make this? Uh, I got my sauce made already. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And then I get the macaroni prepared. You, you get it so that it's already, you don't have to boil it? Oh yeah. You have to boil the macaroni. Okay. Then prepare it in the pan and put sauce on top. Mm -hmm. And then the mozzarella cheese, and then the sauce again, and then the mozzarella cheese. So you keep on layering the, uh, yeah, and that's it. the cheese with the stuff? <laughs> yeah, and then I put it in the oven. Okay. okay. And how long do you cook it for? Oh, you can use your own head. <laughs> I don't want to use my own head. I want to know some rough idea. Or you just wait until it looks crispy on top, or a little bit crispy? No, just or? taste it. No, but, hmm? You make the macaroni maybe about, some macaroni takes only about half hour mm -hmm. to cook, yeah? You know? And um... And then I put it in the pan and put it in the oven. How high do you put it on? The oven? The oven? Two cans. That's looking good. Yeah. Um, I got... Uh, Alright, what's your basic sauce? Two cans of crushed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. tell two. Me, tell me. Oh, two yeah. cans of crushed tomatoes, mm -hmm. you put it in the pot. Yeah. It all depends on how much meat you have. If you have a lot of meat, then... Then you use more. Three cans. Right. Plus, I got a lot of meatballs. Yeah. So I see it took some. You know. So you like the crushed tomatoes. Yeah. And um. And two cans of water. You gotta yeah. put the water in. And you don't use any, you don't use any tomato paste or anything like that, in this in this kind of sauce or not? If you want to, but I. But do you? No. Not really. really. No. Usually this. Okay. And. Uh, How do you put the garlic? I mean, do you use any garlic in the sauce or? Yeah, I just put it in. You just put it right in there like yeah. that. Do you cut it up at all or no? Just in half. You cut it in half. Yeah. You usually use just yeah. one or two or one? Yeah, two. Two? Okay. Put it in there. And then yeah. um yep, and, and then we'll, you just let that uh do you put the meat Sim into it or do you simmer it first and then oh, put no. the meat in? The meat in. I do the meatballs first. I fry the meatballs first. Yeah. And then I put them in the sauce. Do you how much how much water do you add into it when you're making the uh, sauce I told you. Like, uh, well, you said two cans of crushed tomatoes and how much water? Two cans. Two cans with it. Yeah. So one, one can and then one can yeah. of water. And then you don't simmer it before you put the meat in? You just put the meat right into it? Yeah, because it cooks together. But the meatballs, you fry The meatballs I fry first. And how do you make those? Now? The meatballs, I mix up the meat. Mm -hmm. With what? <laughs> mix I, up I'm meat. just going to say, I just was going to say now. Don't forget anything put either. Put uh, breadcrumbs. Cut up your garlic, put mm -hmm. it in, grated cheese, yeah. and two or three eggs. It all depends on how much meat you got. So in, the, in this meat, I put three eggs. Yeah, okay. So. And then, and then um, mix it up. Yeah. Good. And fry it. Then you fry it. Yeah, that's it. And then put it. Roll up your meatballs and put them in the middle. And then now uh, they go in there. They have to be fried. And how long do you simmer these sauce? Mm -hmm. All day or? You usually do it for a couple about, of hours at least. About two hours. A couple of hours. Yeah. Some the sauce. How did they come out? Were they good shrimps that we got? Oh yeah. You just uh I had to take the tails out because you don't do it with the tails. Oh you on. don't you Yeah, I had to clean them. Okay. And uh put parsley in and garlic mm -hmm. and uh put it in the pot and steam it. Put a little tomato sauce and that's it. So um That's all I do. Like you, how do you, you said you steam what part of it? The shrimps you have to steam. And you it steam makes them? its own water, see? Oh, but you must put a little bit of water, no. 
Because it's frozen, tiny. you put it to the tiny Very tiny, bit. yeah. And then okay. it steams by itself, and then I put garlic in and tomato sauce. And that's all. And you put it directly in. You put the parsley directly in there. Oh, yeah. And the garlic. And you put garlic directly in there. Right, right, right. Do you, um, then you put a little oil in there, right? Just a drop. Yeah. Just a little tiny bit? Because she says you don't like the oil. Right. I put it, but no, there's some in there for taste, you know? Yeah. Now, and, put um, buckle up. Ah, uh, now let me take this down because this is. Yeah. Piece de resistance. That's the right bacala that Gina bought. That's what I wanted. This kind. The big one. Now uh, tell me what's uh, going on in here. No. Come on. All right. Okay, let's take a nice shot of it so we can see. I had, a, I had to soak this bacala for a week in a pot of water. For a yeah. week? Really? Yeah, to take the salt out. In one pot? Did you change the water at all? Of course. I change it every day. Oh, you change it every day, every huh? Every day, yeah. Wow. And put it in the fridge back in there again. Yeah. Then I just took it out today. Yep. And uh, wash it again, uh -huh. and put it in the pot, yep. the onion, the parsley, cut up a thin you know, onion, you don't put no garlic in here, onion. Mm -hmm. Slice the onion, put it oh, in Oh, you don't put here. garlic in it, huh? No. No, 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 that's it. Who taught you how to make like that dish right there? My father taught Your me. Your father taught you how to he make really that one? He really taught me how to do the shrimps and everything. All the fish stuff? Papa did, yeah. Basically? Yeah. yeah. How would he tell how would how would he uh tell you what he What he used to do he used to do nothing? I mean, did he grab you aside when you when you oh, not? Was eight years old. Yeah. He used to tell me how to cook. Yeah. And I used to love it, you know, what he used to do. Because Papa grew up he says need a an ocean where there was all fish. That's where he learned. That's where they, his mother know him and grew up. So that's why Papa he taught me. He was a fish eater, Papa. Yeah. Clams. He's the one that told me how to eat raw clams. Nobody would eat them. He used and to eat raw clams, huh? And crabs. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Oh, crab sauce. Oh. This spaghetti with crab sauce is delicious. Mm -hmm. When I was pregnant, your mother, that's why I'm off me and her, my mama. We used to eat that a lot. Crabs. Who used to buy for you then? Your husband used to come home? Used to buy no, things? we used to get in the fish market. Used to get in the fish market? Yeah. But he liked it, yeah, he used to eat it. I'm sure he did. Sauce, yeah. hmm, you were pregnant and you had to cook for him too? Delicious. Over here, Poppy used to put him in the pot and they used to jump. Look, your mother remembers that when they used to run away because they used to jump out of the pot, you know? Poppy used to put a mine on top of the cover so they don't come out. <laughs> but sometimes they used to come out and they kids were running around. Not me. I used to cut my father touch. <laughs> yeah. Even when you were a little girl, you used to help him? Yeah. I used to go fishing with him. Oh, you used to fish? Really? Rockaway Beach. Did he fish from the shore or did he go out in the boat? From the shore. From the shore, huh? Yeah, me, he used to, we used to sleep there. Me and my brother. Really? He had a, ca he had a cage where you towed in and the grabs go in. And you used to bait it? Yeah. Like put bait in it? Papa did. Where did you used to sleep? On the, on the ground there. He, he used to bring the blankets with him. He used to take us to the cemetery and sleep there, me and my brother, while he was fishing. Oh, really? We had to sleep in the cemetery. And then we were kids and we used to, you know, naturally you'd be afraid. To, he says, never be afraid of the dead, Natalia you said, be afraid of living. <laughs> it's not the dead. <laughs> oh, he, he got a woodchuck? And he told us what we ate, I'm going to eat it now. I what ate it them. What did it taste like? Meat. meat. So it didn't taste like it. How do know? Yeah. How did he cook that? Everything in the oven. He used to roast Just roasted. It's good. He used to flavor it and everything until I've ate it. Oh, my father used to do all that, you know. It's like Italian woodchuck. <laughs> woodchuck steak. Woodchuck oregano. <laughs> Jeez, I bet they have that in restaurants we don't even know. Woodchuck scallopini. <laughs> Ken next door, he was black. He liked woodchucks. He says to me, no, no, kill the woodchucks. Next time you see one, you tell me, I get it. <laughs> Forget it, man. I want a woodchuck in the back of my yard. <laughs> I used to run in the house. That's funny. Those are good traditions. Uh, people eat, yeah. Yeah, in them days, you eat, yeah. You eat what you can catch. Even now they eat rabbit. Rabbit costs money if you eat in oh, a yeah. restaurant. Oh, yes. They call that joke. It's That's called game. Food. Meat. That's yeah. a, you know, you go to certain yeah, restaurants in Millbrook and you can pay a lot of money to eat rabbit. Mm -hmm. and he used to shoot the squirrels. 
Uh-uh. To eat? Yeah. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> hey. Can't do that now. You should be able to do it. There's so many of them around. <laughs> you say you get arrested. Dumb. Well, I see five of them come in the morning over here. Yeah. Mm. Like your mom used to buy broken macaroni? Ooh! Don't mention even now what I get that? sick. <laughs> well, she couldn't help it. That's what they used to sell. What was it, Grandma? Broken macaroni. Even now, we need it if I see it. That was the cheap stuff that they like, yeah. broke. See, like macaroni we buy, it's whole, you know? It's not broken. But this macaroni we buy, with all pieces like and broken in half like that. It's make, I don't know, something used to do something to my stomach. And how'd she used to make it? Like with milk, you said? Oh, that was my father was, that was spaghetti, that was different. Oh, that spaghetti. was different? Yeah. Did you used to like that? that I didn't okay. like it with milk. <laughs> well, we had to eat it. It was war time, there was nothing. My father said, is that or nothing? I'll go to bed. He used to make us go to bed. Mm -hmm. So, well, my mother used to cook like I do, you know, broth and stuff like that. With mm -hmm. I don't like it. I won't eat enough. I see it. Yeah. Right? Like one day we were eating pork chops. No, we were eating veal chops, right? What's that all about? My brothers and us we were eating veal chops. Yeah. So they start calling me broomstick and. Thick of bones and everything because I was skinny, you know. So my sister, I don't know what she was saying, you know. So I says, Joe, if you don't stop, I'm gonna throw this at you. It was a real cop. This is funny. He says, I did. I said, You dare me? So I, my sister, I don't know if she had her mouth open or what. Said it hit him, but I hit her. Cut her, cut her tongue. A piece of tongue was still out, you know. That's why she talks with a lisp. <laughs> sit here, but tell me about this yard that used to be. Right where she is was all a uh, fig tree. There's a fig tree right there? Yeah, probably had a fig tree right there. Mm -hmm. I used to have them put the tree back in the ground. I thought it, was, it wasn't further back? No, no, right there. Right there? Yeah. Right there. It was you know, sealed up, but that's where it was there. Mm -hmm. And in the back was all a uh, Peach tree, pear tree, right over there. I remember there was a peach tree right here, over there. Yeah, we had one there, we had one in the back, and we had a pear tree and a plum tree. Mm -hmm. And did he have any uh, other vegetables? Did he have oh, a vegetable had all garden? Kinds of vegetables. Where were they? Where was the garden oh, there? Yeah. All the over whole there? thing. This, really? Yeah, the whole thing. Was. Mm -hmm. So far as here. Yeah. This was all vegetables here. Yeah. The broccoli, the. He had spinach, he had uh, onions, mm -hmm. potatoes, uh, broken robin, he said, you know, like that. kale. Mm -hmm. Anything my mother had, tomatoes, that she used to use, you know. Yeah. He stopped them to do it. And he would have to tend that garden every day, right? He did. Yeah. He was in the yard all the time. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, he was eight years old, he was still planting that tree. Sixty-eight years old when she so passed away. So when did she pass away? About when? Nineteen fifty. May twenty-ninth, the day of my brother's birthday. My brother's birthday was last week. What was it? The late fifties, though. Or how old were you? How old was Ma when, when your mother died? Sixteen, I think. And how did she die? Bronchitis pneumonia. Did she really? She had bronchitis pneumonia. And it was the month of May. When she got pneumonia, no, my father, I think it was the month of May, yeah, grandpa, 
，我什么什么美女感的梦呀？嗯哼。That's why I don't like the. They say, oh, you can. Yes, you can. Seems like that's the only thing in our family that people really get. Pneumonia. <laughs> I've had it. So it looks like I'm going down with it sooner so or later. I don't like pneumonia. Because mm. mm. you know, it all depends how it gets you. This one boy, he really liked her in drama. The mother even liked her. That was the only son. But no, she had to go and get stuff, stuff in the school. Mm. What was that all about? Huh? What was that? That's why I came to Gipsy. I don't want her to get in more trouble. Instead, she gets trouble over here. This one boy who was after her all the time he came up the house. He almost broke my finger. And it still hurts. He broke the, my telephone right off the, the wall. Because I, I said, I'm going to call up the policeman, you know, because he's come up there and bought him. I said, he said, oh, no, you don't. So he took the end just my finger. He's a violent chap. Jesus. Hmm. He used to come up all the time. We wanted her, but at the time, no way. And how did, what did she do? She was only a kid. Did she tell him to get lost, or did she encourage him? That's what I think. I don't know. One time I had to follow her to his house, and oh, I was so scared, you know. Why did you have to follow her? Because I won't see where she's going. <laughs> so you were, you were spying 15, on her? Come oh, on. Okay. Fifteen. She's got this little bit too. I pull her hair and everything. <laughs> but. So she didn't get in trouble there, over here. When you came up here? High school. Yeah. And he wasn't even going to that school, that stupid jerk. Oh, really? He didn't met him, he didn't like him. Oh, she didn't like him for nothing. Oh. She just, oh. Oh, she was sad. Oh. That was her father, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went to a lot. My husband, he was... Yeah, what happened? Tell me what happened when he found out. He hit the wall in the bathroom. He said, what did she have to do that for? He says, what did we do? He said, we gave her everything. Yeah, well, we all say that. We gave you everything, but it happens. The company you go with, some of these girls, too. Mm. So, we went... He said he got upset, he cried. I was crying. He, yeah, he did, too. Yeah. It's the only one, you know. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? Yeah. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> but you said she had the baby and your husband. He was happy. He was happy. Right? My father used to play with, with Dina. Yeah. <laughs> you see, he liked babies, Pop. Mm. Even when we came here, did my husband get money to go to college? She passed it and everything? What happens? She gets married instead. Well, that was to my father. Mm. I can't prove it to me, I'm upset by that. What did you think of my father when you first saw him? Well, I... <laughs> Why? He was a nice looking guy, he was nice. He's... Was it polite? Papa was crazy for him. Oh, God. My father, every time I used to see him come on the motorcycle. Like a boy, like a boy. What does that mean? Like a boy. Crazy. Oh. Because the way he used to drive. With no shoes. Barefoot. And yeah, then you could do that, not now. No helmet, no nothing. Like that. He used to come. He had a lot of nerve, you tell me. Yeah. He used to come all the time. See my father. You mean your father was walking on Main Street? It used to be Main Street. There was no uh, mall then. It was Main Street like it is now. And I said to him, and he no, I says, that guy's been following you. He's oh, all, you're just thinking, imagining things. I said, I'm not imagining. I said, he's got an eye on you. You know, she was pretty and everything. She was 18 years old. And I said, she says, no, nah, no, nah, he's. Only look at us. Yeah, looking all right. But he used to follow that. He followed us all the way home one time. So he followed you more than once? He stalked you? Yeah, and your mother, he was stalking, not me. Yeah. He was your mother. And did he what? Come up to the door one time or? Exit for her? Yeah. So she's not here. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. And 
Bobby was another one. Yeah, yeah. Him and Mary. They didn't run around too much. Him and Bobby, they didn't run around. And they beer. Oh, God. How do you think he went to jail? They got two cases of beer. Him and Bobby. <laughs> that was stupid. But that, they were kids. How old do you think it was? 19? She says, every time I look in the mirror, I think he's there. She was pushing your father a lot. So you had to get out. So most of the things she bought, you know. So your, the mother, the mother in law didn't want to give her this stuff. So my sister at the time, she goes like this. You don't want to give them to my niece? She says, well, I'll fix you up. She says, you don't want to give them up? She takes the knife, she cut all the Venetian blood. <laughs> She got the Venetian blinds. She didn't she cut her throat. I'm just glad she didn't cut her throat. So that we all came down here. Where did we sleep? Where did you have us? She had my room. Had the other room. She had with the uh, uh, you and uh, George. Uh, no, Tony. Uh -huh. Sleep in that room. George, we, uh, we opened up the couch. We had another couch that had to open up. In the living room? Yeah, in the other room. We had another couch there open up. So we all we slept there. In the middle we room? Managed, yeah. I remember the middle room had yeah. a couch in it. Yeah, that was. So we managed. What did Grandpa do? Okay, he wanted the kids to come there. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah.
Chewaluna menzumara, mamma mi mamara dare. Figlia mia puta dare, mamma mi punza tu tu. Sette rogni vanno per i dè vai, i dè vene, se non vanno a mano tene. Se ci vedi a quando sei da pannolia, figlia mia.